Shoot it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse. I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Hello, That's ladies right. and gentlemen. Welcome to this edition of What a Horse, and we're in for a heck of a week. Yes, sir. Starting tonight, we've got five nights of horse shows. Yes. Are you going to show every night? Pretty much every night. Pretty much every yeah, night. Pretty much every night. You're going to be one tired sucker, buddy. Yeah, we're going to have some wonderful shows this week. Hey, we are. They're going to start off with a three night, then a one night, and then another one night, but it's going to be tough. We're going to yes. go over that in just a minute, but before we do, we're going to take a short pause for our sponsors, and we will be right back. How's that? That'll work. I do that good? Yeah, you've done All that right. wonderful. I'm good. Let's go to commercial. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go over these announcements starting tonight. Carol Missile 9 is the show manager. Chris Bobo, Johnny Puckett, and Paul Robbins will be the judges yeah, yeah. for Christmas in July. That's Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night. Uh, Money Tree is... Friday night, it's at the Cal Sonic. Now, start time, I missed this. Start time on Christmas in July is 5 p.m. Money Tree in the Cal Sonic. Uh, call Kerry Tisma, 678-576-1290. Jamie Bradshaw, Robert Cortner, and Mike Hilly will be the judge. It starts at 4 p.m. Then Saturday, we go to Woodbury, Tennessee, and Shane Gannon is the person to contact, 615-904-4395. And the show starts at 5 p.m. And the judge will be Ross Campbell. And that's going to be a heck of a week. Oh, yeah. I am going to be tired. CJ is going to be give out. We might have to uh, do some revitalizing on him. He'll, he'll, be, he'll be stretched thin. And all these horse trainers and workers at the Boeing will be tired. You got that right, and it's hot. Yeah. I want to remind everybody, keep an eye on your coats. Uh, it's a, this heat is, is bad on them. We, we lost one overnight. Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine this morning. He said he watched one yesterday afternoon running around, playing, having a good time. Went out this morning, and he lost him. So it, this heat will get them quick. It will get them very quick. Uh, Everybody, everybody I've talked to here lately has got a, a sick bowl of some yes. kind. Because mm -hmm. that, that heat just, it, it's unbearable. No matter what you do, it, it's unbearable. And 
you got to watch it and take care of them like right now. You can't wait until after a while. You got to do it right now. And Jerry, uh, Saturday, I came over to Shelbyville in video. You did something that I, I really want to talk about because I, I thought it was pretty neat. You carried a pony, yeah. really, a lead line, line pony. pony. Mm -hmm. uh, Queen Elizabeth, I believe yes. it was. Mm -hmm. You carried her up at, at Tennessee Downs because he's all about horse, horsepower. The significance about this is there was people from all over the country coming in there with these really expensive cars. And there's one thing I noticed. You were the hot topic. Yes. While I was there, everybody was coming over there to love on this pony, pet on the pony, and ask questions. That yes. lady right there had a fit. She jumped out yes. of that car she was in and flew over there. But tell us a little bit about why you did this. Well, that kind of helped support, you know, this new industry that's coming towards Chevyville and um, take a horse, a walking horse out there and so everybody can can see, you know, how easy and general these horses are and everything. Well, I it's, mean, and it's a great promotion. A promotion, no. you know, for the horse and getting people, you know, for Chevyville and, and the horse business industry. Well, a lot of people, I, I'm a firm believer, anytime there's something like this going on where people, the Moon Fire Festival in Bell Buckle would be ideal. Yes. Uh, people come from all over the place. Let them see our horse. Let them see it because I know I heard a couple of ladies talking, and I, I know you told me that you took the wraps off and let them see that there yeah. wasn't nothing wrong with the horse. But I, I'm, I just get tired of people believing everything they're told. It's time that, in my opinion, that our industry started showing them That's what right. was actually going on. You are exactly right. And, and not depending on people. That lady, all she wanted to do was hug the horse. I couldn't make it around that square where everybody's stopping the kids and everything mm -hmm. else, stopping wanting to pet the horse. And, you know, these horses is treated to the top yeah. and everything. And, you know, and you get, a lot of people hear all these bad things about these horses, and that's one other reason I took the horse out there, so people can see that these horses are not mistreated like everybody think they are. And, Cripple and lame and everything else. Well, they, it's easy to tell a story. Oh, yeah, this it's is. very easy. Anybody can tell a story. But it's just like you and I were talking, and, and some other people have been talking about this. When the veterinarian school from Colorado came down, uh, the first thing they wanted to do was see the feet. Yes. Well, once they see the feet, they look and they say, that ain't what we were told. Well, that's our problem. We let people say anything they want to say with a belief that, well, they ain't nobody going to believe that because it's so far. Like the lady on the news said they put boats in their legs. Now, that sounds crazy. And when she said it, I laughed, and then I got to thinking, how many people believe it? Oh, you have a lot of people believe yeah, stuff like I that. Yeah, I mean, because it was said on the news. Well, everybody needs to realize the news of today is not Paul Harvey, that's for yes. sure. But it, it's just like when, when people come in and, and they talk about, we, we've got these people that have come and video our horses, and then they'll drop a frame here, drop a frame there, and talk, tell everybody, well, they act like that because they're hurt and they're sore. We show video all the time of good, compliant horses. And we've got it on YouTube, we've got it on Facebook, we've got it everywhere. But each individual that's in this industry, when they hear people saying things like that, they need to say, well, wait a minute. You need to come to the barn. That's right. You need to come and look. You need to see exactly what this is. And people, they, they it's like this. We had a gentleman that got a uh, HPA violation against him in Alabama. And he got it because he had bacon grease on his horse. Mm. Now, he got him for foreign subjects, which that's a federal offense. Yeah. Uh, the bacon grease, <laughs> I put it on a bunch of horses. I'm guilty of sin. 
I put it on cuts, I put it on bruises, I put it on skin marks, and I've also used it to keep the foot lubricated to where it doesn't get, the hair doesn't get dry and brittle yes. and break off. But you cannot wear it on a showground. And that's where he, where the guy messed up was he, he, they didn't wash it off the feet before they got there. Uh, but it does no harm, it actually helps the horse. But we, we get called out on things like that, and people say, well, he got a federal ticket because he was abusive. No, he got a federal ticket because he's trying to help his horse. Yes, that's right. And and people don't know it, but you, you had made a statement to me about the Sound Horse Conference, the one they had in Franklin, Tennessee, and yes. an idea you had. Yes. I want you to repeat it. You know, I always thought, you know, when they have stuff like that, is everybody with a padded horse or whatever, bring that horse and park it and take it up there to wherever they have that meeting at and be on the side of the road and show everybody that these horses is not abused like they think they are. You know, that's just like that horse I took to that um, racetrack to the, um, on the square this weekend. You know, I had a lot of people there loving on it. Then I had some people come up there and ask me because I had her legs wrapped. That was just to protect her legs from being on the concrete and everything else. But the first person thing they thought that I had acid on her feet, and I unwrapped the feet and showed it to them that that horse was just the leg wraps was just to help them protect the legs, you know, and stuff. And when I showed them, they was, I mean, they understand a lot better after I showed it to them. Well, you know, a lot of times, and I've done this with people when they talk about uh, here. Here's my favorite one. The guy says. Well, y'all put them heavy chains on these horses. I said, yep, we're allowed to show in a six ounce action device. Well, that's awful heavy. But the guy's got on a Rolex watch. Yes. And I tell myself, I tell you what, I get my scales out and I lay them down. I said, let's see how much your watch weighs. Most Rolexes, his weighed a little over 10 ounces. Most of them weigh 10, 12 up. He weighed 140 pounds, but that watch did no harm to him at all. But he was sitting there trying to tell me the damage a six ounce action dice does to a 11, 1200 pound horse, horse, you know. And it's, it's laughable. But if everybody started showing them, not telling them, show them. The other people are telling them, they're not showing them what's going on, they're telling them, but the nature of the beast is to believe the worst of anything. That's right. I mean, that's just natural. People believe the worst. Did you ever watch the movie, uh, Oh God? Yes. With with Burns. Mm-hmm. What was it he said on the on the witness stand? He said, "You people will believe a little girl can spit pea soup, and she's the devil, but you can't believe this old man can be God." And that I mean that that's, that's right. the truth. They people tend to believe the worst in everything just because you said it. it but seeing it is completely different. different. That's right. We, we're seeing a lot. The news said that peaceful violence was what we was experiencing. Uh, the riots is peaceful protesting. But buildings were getting burned and, and all this, people getting hurt. And, but it was peaceful. Because yeah. the news said it, but the video told you the, the truth. truth. That's right. And that's why I'm saying people say our horse is bad. You need to look at it. Now, we're going to talk about what's going on to get the track ready over in Shelbyville, Tennessee. And believe me, it is something. I was over there this morning. Remember how the water stood down where the tents were? Yes. They're building that up. And they're putting the tents down to the left. If you're facing the ring, they're going to have the tents down to the left where the people in the stands and everything can see. They're going to have seating in front. But Jake Jacobs has got his guys over there making sure if it don't rain that everybody ain't going to choke to death on dust. Yes. And Carol, bless her heart, she's out there in the sun. She is getting everybody's signs up to where they know where they're, where they're going to park, park. Where, yeah. where they're going to sit. I told her, I said, y'all can have it. i got to go do a show. <laughs> <laughs> but they're getting ready for the show, and I'm, I'm telling you, I think it's going to be a good one. Oh, a it good will be a good days. one. Yeah. good three days. Another thing, you and I have talked about this, about what it takes to get ready to go to a show, 
And I've had people, we talked about Allie Jo Jacobs and what she does. Now, she's not the only young person that does what we're fixing to show. She's just one of them. And I'm going to get some of the others. But right here's one. She just rode him. All right? Mm -hmm. So instead of the trainer or the groom or somebody going back there and taking care of it, she's going to take care of it. And these kids, our youth of today, when they start doing the equine, these are just certain things they learn. Now look at the size of that horse, a little bitty girl, but she's fixing to get that hose pipe out and she's going to work. Yep, she's taking care of it. But you know, these horses are real, real general horses. They are, you know, for a little kid like her size, to pull a big animal like that, you know, and he enjoyed it. Oh yeah, that, that horse enjoys this, what she's doing right, right now. He, he's nibbling on the chain. He's just enjoying himself. Cool water. But now she, she is doing the job. She's getting everything done. And this is something that our instructors, they teach these That's right. to do this stuff. They teach them how to saddle a horse. They teach them how to groom their horse. They teach them how to pick the feet out. I watched the video of her cleaning out the front feet. Yeah. And she headed towards the back feet, and her mama said, oh, no, someone else get the back feet. <laughs> and she didn't want her to get the back feet. But th this is just the way it is now. They, in the walking horse industry, kids do it, adults do it. Yep. But now she's having a time. She enjoying herself. Well, Jake told me over there one day that uh, she said, you know, she said, we ought to give the horses a show bath. And uh, he didn't pay no more attention to it. said, so next thing she looked up, she had the horses lined up in the cross ties. <laughs> she was ready to give them all a bath. <laughs> and that's really, that's really something, though. She... These kids learning how to do She's doing a wonderful job this. right there, what she's doing, yep. cleaning, washing that horse in the back end back there, and, yep. you know, getting all the sweat marks off of him and everything. They taught her well. They taught her very well. Well, they, we've got video of her saddling her horse, taking the saddle off her horse, getting everything ready. Right here she is getting ready to go. This is Coach Cal in a practice run. But now these kids, they have to go out and practice every day Yeah, that they can. A lot of them can't, they can't do it like she can go every day she wants to because the barn's right there at her house. A lot of the trainer's kids, they can go out there and ride whenever they want to. The older, the kids that have to come in to ride their horses, they'll come in and ride once, twice a week. But practicing is important. Yes. Now, I don't know. Lee Stewart is her instructor. I'm not sure how often Lee requires the students to come in and work. But I do know recently she had one of her youth win a championship, and it was a young man. So that, that's a good thing. Oh, that yeah. young men are getting into it. Too many of our young men try to copy trainers. That's right. You are and right. They, they try to copy the ones that are not, don't set the horse what I say. I like them to when they set up. We have some trainers that don't set up. Uh, not that they're bad trainers. They're good trainers. But I love to see them set up in the saddle like the Billy Grays yes. and the Jimmy mm -hmm. McConnells. And, and Ron Youngs. Yeah, the, the legends yeah. yes. that are gone. Mm -hmm. That'd be it. All right, now we've got to go to Cumberland County. That was a good show up there. Yeah, it was a good show. Right there is I'm Coach Cal, the one she was just now practicing yep. on. Lebanon Underwinter, Allie Joe Jacobs. For Jake and Allie Joe, Coach Cal. That horse is well trained. Yes, he is. And she, she's getting more accustomed to him now. Yes. When she first started riding him, they were a little quick. Uh huh. But now she's got him where he laid back, and and a lot of that getting their hands adjusted and things like this. Right there's John Gruden and Ray Carr for Ray Carr family. This was East Tennessee Walking Horse Association members only. 
That's a nice horse right there. It is there. a nice horse. I talked to Ray quite a while on the phone. He seems like a pretty nice fellow. Ray is, Ray is a real good guy. You got some family members there? Yeah. Right here, Brother Vengeance and Jeremy Johnson. Johnson. Show pleasure for Evergreen Walking Horse Farms. That horse is a nice horse. He's... I like him. I yeah. really do. Miss Virginia, she's she likes to watch some horses. I tell you what tickled me. She she sent some horses for sale one time. No sold them all. Mm. <laughs> Every one of them's out there in her pasture. Well, I tell you, she <laughs> sold one and ended up <laughs> buying him back. And going buying him back. <laughs> that's, yeah. the way, hey, that's the way she loves her horses. Yes, yeah, she loves and, her and horses. If you don't believe it, go out there and look. She's got more yard ornaments than anybody in town. I believe she got the first horse she ever bought still out in that field out there. It'd have to be over about 20, 30 something years mm. old. Does she still have out in that pasture out there? I wouldn't doubt it, because yeah. she, once she loves them, that's it. Yep. They, they're there forever. We're going to take a short pause for our sponsors, and we'll be right back with some more video. <laughs> Jim DeWin started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jim would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaise Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the Amateur Four-Year-Old Grand Championship, and then Jen would go on to win World Championships in both Amateur and Open Show Pleasure Divisions. With World and World Grand Championships in both Open and Amateur Divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. A Jen DeWin is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Tired of paying for monthly telephone service, expensive long-distance bills, and all those crazy taxes? Are you sick of spending money on telephone equipment, maintenance contracts, and service calls, all for a phone system that shackles you to 100-year-old technology and your desk? Stop it. It's time to ship your phone system to the cloud. What can the cloud do for you? Bring together remote offices, workers, and employees in the field. Make sure that you'll never miss calls by delivering them to multiple devices. Modernize faxing by allowing multiple faxes to be sent and received at once and delivered to email. Get your voicemail messages instantly through email, too. And take advantage of an endless supply of customizable features. Host My Calls can deliver the cloud. All of this technology with low upfront costs and not one penny in capital expense. It's time for a phone solution you'll truly love from Host My Calls. Call the number below. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to the winner's circle and tell them what a horse sent you. You know, Winters have got a good sale on bits right now. Yep. They got uh, about half price. Okay. I mean, there's some good good buys over there. All right, if we go down to Arab, Alabama, we might see some more victory passes because there's a there was one real good horse that oh, went yeah. down there. Mm -hmm. 
fixing to make a splash, believe me. So, this right here was a summer classic show in Arab, Alabama, in honor and remember, and Dan Waddell took the blue for Kim Lewis. That's one of our outstanding four-year-olds, yes. ladies and gentlemen. So, I think that's the second four-year-old this year that's gone and won the state class, ain't yep. it? Yep. Mm-hmm. Kobe did it, right? Kobe did it, yep. So now we we got two in the in the saddle that uh it's gonna be hot come celebration time. The competition's gonna be hot. Honor and remember. It'll That's be a good, good that'll be a good class. That'll yeah. be it's gonna be well, we'll have two on us. Well, no, that, that's four-year-old. I'm thinking about state class yeah. already. I'm putting him in state, state class. class. He ain't even got there yeah. yet, but I'm, I've got him in there. <laughs> All right. We're going to go to Belfast, Tennessee. Now, that's, that's where it gets going. Right there, Ali Joe Jacobs, Equitation Lebanon Underwinter. She is involved in everything she can get into. Oh, yeah. But if you notice, no matter when she's in the ring, her dad's always there watching. Yep. <laughs> He's right there. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, she's a, to be as young as she is, and ride the way she oh, does. Yes. Really the something. The older she get, the better and better she'll get. Oh, she and will. No doubt about it. She'll get better as time goes yeah. on. I'm just glad she likes it that oh, I much. Do. And here's the Georgia Florida line in Knox Blackburn for Bruce McDonald. Georgia Florida line and Knox Blackburn to play. That's a real nice horse. Oh, he's real nice. He's got that deliberate yeah. walk, uh -huh. the way of doing it, synchronized up. Got it. The horse and Ali Joe Jacobs. That's your youth pony winner. There's Nikki out there making sure everything is done just right. Nikki Shrivener. Ali Joe. And here's I Am Big Enough and Maxine Beasley. I tell you what. That young lady right there can flat ride. She can. She can do that. Both of them can ride. Oh, yeah. yeah. Baby can ride yeah. and so can Maxine. Mm -hmm. They get it done, no doubt about it. Here's Twisted with Honors and Tyler Balcom for Allison Armstrong. Tell you what. This one's going to be heard from big oh, yeah. time. If I'm not mistaken, this horse can canter too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. And he he is he will be a stake horse contender. I guarantee. In Columbia, you. he was second in the yeah. In that's the what I was. Yep. Right here's a Super Bowl MVP and BB Beasley. There's a horse that every time he goes in, he, he puts on a good show. Sure, yeah, he does. Um, Callaway's trained this horse. Yeah. Give our trainers a little plug here. I'm training, been working real hard. They even had to go in on Sunday and ride to get ready for this show. Oh, yeah. Well, they, they have to ride yeah. at night a That's lot, right. too, because I'm going to tell you what, this heat in the daytime is too rough on them. Oh, yeah. Here's a victory pass in Dan Waddell for Natalie Baker Legate. 
I talked to Justin about this horse, and he was tickled to death with it. Dan putting some nice horses oh, yeah, in the ring now. He is. Nice horses in the ring. Voyager and Jimmy McConnell for Paul and Tiffany Simmons. I look for Paul to ride this horse for long. I would say so. That's a real nice horse. Yes, he is. Real nice. I believe his wife is trying to think about trying to show a horse. Yeah. Don't try to do it. Yeah, I think she's. I told Mr. Paul he'd be in trouble then. Oh, yeah. He'll lose every horse he's yeah. got. <laughs> and women and daughters, they have a way of taking things away That's from right. the husband and father. Here's Kid Can Do and Robert Dortch, Far Robert, amateur three year old Baron Gilding winner. Kid Can Do. Well, that's looking good. Yep. Here's Walk for Roses, Russ Thompson. That's a flashy horse oh, right yeah, there. Oh, yeah, it is now. a flashy horse. Oh, Russ letting them know he's got oh, yeah. one out here. Looking good, Russ. Oh, yeah. That horse is a real nice horse. Oh, yeah. There's Jamie. Mm-hmm. I can hear him now. You didn't do bad. <laughs> <laughs> See, you know, I, 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 yeah. I tell you what, every, every time we have a weekend like this, because I, I call this a mini celebration, I like to go back and look at the horses that showed last year. Uh-huh. And the ones, that, especially the ones that won, and see how many of them returned. Now, when we did this on Columbia, there was a bunch that came back and won. Yes. And and we had a two-year-old come back as a three, a three-year-old come back as a four, on and on. So let's go to last year's Christmas in July, see the ones that won, and then see how many of them come back this year. That's right. That'll work. That'll work. Right there is Mr. Heisman and Bruce McDonald, your classic horse in amateur division, 2021. Mr. Heisman. Love that horse, boy. He oh, yeah. just, he's, he's a good one. Now he can get it done. Are we going to make some predictions on which one you think going to win this year? <laughs> well, that's right there. If I'm he comes say, back, I'm going to have my money on him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if Bruce breaks him out again, and you can, Bruce just, he, he loves to show. And so, so does Robin. Now, Robin does too. Right here is title defense and Samantha Green for Bedford Walking Horse Farms. This is what auxiliary members. Yeah. I like the name of that horse, Title Defense. Yeah. I tell you what, S Samantha can ride. Yes, she can. I remember first time Corey showed. Mm -hmm. A lot of people didn't know Corey ever showed, but she did. Yeah. First time she showed was up in Tazewell, Virginia. Jeff was sitting there with his tongue hung out. He didn't believe it. <laughs> Miss Dixie Carter and Taylor Walters. I tell you what, the way that horse has been looking, if she shows, my money's on her. her. Yep. Mm. 
There you go, Taylor. Here's Whiskey Cavalier and Taylor Walters from Meadows and Myers. Now, she was reserved last year, but that is one good yeah. horse. Mm -hmm. Really is. Tell you one thing, they, they, they knew to get a real good rider for Oh, him. yeah. Can't get Jimmy, get Taylor. Yeah, that's right. And she's limitless, and I'll take her and- i take her and give you the field. You, you use the field. <laughs> Nice one. Yeah, she is. She's a big mare, too. She's limitless. Molly sets up there and gets it done. Yes. Texas Coffee, Coffer, and Queen Elizabeth was your reserve winner. And Queen Elizabeth is the one that you had up on the square. Square, yep. Mm -hmm. I always thought that young lady right there was, was one of the best in this division. She is. She is. I mean, she she was perfect ever, ever. Look at her, sat there just straight, not looking around. Holding her reins, doing everything she's supposed to do. Yep. And here's Uptight Jose and Bruce McDonald. And Knox Blackman. Mm hmm. Pro Am winner. Out there, Ferrari 308 and Kenny Smith. That horse right there is still winning. Yeah. I think Kenny said, hey, we got a good one. We're winning. Let's don't let's keep him. <laughs> we'll sell everything else, but we'll keep this. Keep him. Oh, Kenny is a good guy. Yes, he is. I like Kenny. I like him. He's too. all right. Honor and salute, Tyler Balkan for Kerry DeArmond. I tell you what, this horse is, is better. Yeah. This year, he is better. Kayla showed him, and he he was unbelievable. And I would not be surprised we see him again if Kayla ain't on him. Yeah. Or Kerry. Now Kerry can show him. Well, that horse can get it done. Extra special Jose and Emma Wright for Sammy and Gail Cagle and the rights. I don't believe that we'll see her this year because I believe she has graduated. She has moved up in the mm -hmm. world. I asked her one time how her daddy got so many good two-year-olds. She says, guess he's just a good picker. <laughs> 
like picking tomatoes. Yeah. He picks the good ones. Here's Mike Juan, your state class winner, and Jimmy McConnell. Now, Donnie Taylor owned that horse last year. He don't own him this no. year. So Molly, she's gonna be watching. So yeah. right here is one of you. This right here is one of the favorites to win the stake this year. Oh yeah. Jimmy just got a way of getting more out of a horse. horse that's right. Now he can. You think a horse is done, don't bet on it. All right. Now that finished us out in Christmas in yeah. July. But we're going to take a short break and come back because we still got Money Tree and Woodbury to do some predictions. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say several of those that we just saw, we're going to see again oh, this yeah, year. Oh, yeah, I would say yeah. so. All right, let's yeah. take a short pause for our sponsors. We'll be right back. <laughs> I had a knee replacement, so they've got me in life care, which I'm very, very thankful for. I couldn't garden, I couldn't do my flower beds, I can't chase my little dogs. I have been in several therapy sessions for knees and back, and that's the best therapist I believe I've ever been to. It's tremendous because I'm able to walk again, but if it wasn't for the care, I wouldn't be where I am. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. More of What a Horse coming up. And welcome back. Now we're going to go to uh, first the money tree. Yeah. And then we'll go to an old, old show. That's up there in, in I think, it's 80, 86 years. I, was, I believe so. I believe, something I believe like it's that. 86 years now for Woodbury. But let's go to the Money Tree and we'll see what we got. Money Tree's 37th year. Mm -hmm. A lot of people didn't realize that, but it is. And here she is again, Equitation 11 and under, Allie Joe Jacobs. Now she started last year. You believe in that? <laughs> Six years yeah. old tomorrow. Yeah. That means she is seven years old this year. Yeah. <laughs> she wouldn't weigh 100 pounds if you loaded her That's pockets right. with rocks. <laughs> but she can get it done. <laughs> Right here is Habanero Picante and Kimberly Walden. Trail Pleasure five and under winner. Right there is a lady that flat loves these horses. Oh, yeah. Yep, she does. He likes them horses. Oh, yeah. 
Well, she rides a good one. Oh, yeah. Perry, Perry's, you know, Perry's a good amateur oh, trainer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He could probably, well, he could. He could get his license and start charging. But I think he enjoys it the way he's doing it. He used to train horses yeah. a long time ago. Mm-hmm. You know, Perry for a long time. Charlie's Perfect Angel and Tara Rhodes. Now, she was reserved last year, but let me tell you, that's a big mare, and oh, yeah. that is a good mare. Tara Rhodes. And she's a fine lady. Now. Oh, yes, she, she She's is. real nice. Her and Allison Armstrong are big buddies. Right, right there he is again. Yep. Now he won last week. Now he won last year too. Mm -hmm. Georgia, Florida line and Bruce McDonald. I tell you what, now he he's a fine one. Oh yeah, now, he is Bruce. Super, Bruce is super Bruce, nice, a super guy. I was worried about him weeks ago. I called Mike, and I said, "No, nah, he was playing golf." <laughs> <laughs> he said he put his cell phone up. Yeah, <laughs> I don't blame him. He's out playing golf. He don't want nobody talking to him on the cell phone. Here's I be smoking Joe and Tanner Johnson for Tanner and Tucker Johnson. You know, we haven't seen them yet this year, but I got a funny feeling 4th of July, that I'm might be it. Yeah, I would say so. be Smoking Joe. You know who Smoking Joe was? Smoking Joe Frazier? You got it. Mm -hmm. Smoking Joe Frazier. Our girl Charlie. Tyler Balkum for Tara Burks. Another nice mare right yeah. there. These North Carolina ladies have a way of finding real good horses. Oh, yeah. Tyler keep a bunch of pretty good horses. Yeah, he does. He, he, does. he don't have no slouches, that's no, for sure. he does. And you know, that's a good thing, too, because he, he, fought, he fell right into his father's oh, yeah. footsteps, mm -hmm. never missed a beat, and all the customers stayed there with, with him. Yeah. Here it is. I walked the walk in Carol Misseldine. She put on a good horse show oh, last yeah. year and then went out and got her a blue ribbon. That's a nice walk. horse right there. Do what? I said that's a real nice horse. It is. Real nice. I like the way he breaks and reaches. Yeah. Walks behind real good. Yep. Right there, Gigi's Majestic and L.C. Bradford. Country Pleasure Amateur winner. That's another one we'll probably see. Yeah. She's in her 20s, and I thought she was still in her, like, 12, 13. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was going to get her to be on the show with the rest of the youth. Her, yeah. mama, her mother told me that she's a little old for that. Yeah. <laughs>
Zeta and Robert Dortch. May she rest in peace. Yes. That was another great mare. She was. But that goes to show how fragile our horses are. Mm -hmm. and it does. It, uh, people do all the talking they want to, but we have to take tremendous care of these mares and studs, yeah. the horse itself. Just, uh, they can't eat what cows eat. That's right. They, they, there's a lot of things these horses can't eat. Mm -hmm. But they do love biscuits. <laughs> Here's Kid Can Do and Robert Dorch. Now he I was see a two-year-old stallion. They had him gilded. Yeah. And this year he's he's a he's a gilding, but he's already won one well twice this year. Yeah. Once with Tyler and once with Robert. But now he's tough. You know he's changing color a little bit. Oh yeah. Too. Kid can do. I like to watch them once from a two year old, three year old oh, year. Yeah. You can see the difference in and them. Here, really Coach and Rodney Dick. However, really Coach has sold. He is at Jamie Lawrence's now. Okay. I never liked him. Yeah, he threw a shoe in uh, Columbia after winning the class, and uh, a guy didn't get to take a victory pass and was purchased the next day or so. Oh, okay. Sure did. And Jamie Lawrence, they delivered him to Jamie Lawrence. All right, now we're going to go to, I call it Granddaddy Show. It used to be some others that were older, but they're no longer with us. Yeah. Except War Trace. Now, War Trace, yeah. this year would be 100 and... 12, I think it is, 111, 12, maybe 13. But Woodbury, for the 86th show, I believe that's right, 86th annual corner, uh, Woodbury show. Right there, three-year-old stay in last year, honor and remember in Dan Waddell for Kim Lewis. Nice horse, buddy. Oh, yeah. Right there's Manning and Taylor Roberts. I've seen him earlier this year. He looked yeah. awful good, mm -hmm. too. Taylor can just flat ride a she horse can. now. She can, she, she, can. She, she can get it done. She can really ride. She can flat yeah. get it done. I want to remind everybody, the uh, Monday tree, uh, the Christmas in July starts tonight, yes. 5 o'clock, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, or Wednesday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday. I'm going to catch up in a yeah. minute. Tuesday, Tuesday Wednesday. Wednesday, and Thursday. This five days got me all yeah. screwed up, buddy. We, we, normally we don't start them on Tuesday. Yeah. We start them on Wednesday, but not on Tuesday. But Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, gonna be at the Ag Center, 
Christmas in July. Friday, going to be at the Calisonic Money Tree. Saturday, we're going to Woodbury, Tennessee. So it, remember, all victory passes will run on all of our venues. That's the Water Horse TV show, Water Horse website, our Facebook page, YouTube page, and YouTube channel. A lot of people don't know we got a YouTube channel yeah. too. You have to go to through Roku to get uh -huh. it. But you can go to the YouTube channel and look it up and quite a horse is on there, download it. We got everything under the sun on it. But it's uh all of that not about the least expensive advertising we got. You're exactly right. And there's one other thing I wanna mention. I'm gonna have to hire a sales lady. I've been doing it, but uh, I need a sales lady for the celebration. So if anybody is interested in working, I am hard to work for. Just ask anybody's work for me. <laughs> I said that to Marcy Allison. She said, you're full of it. <laughs> now, give me a call, 931-581-4411, because I'm going to have to have somebody to work celebration. Yes. I can't do it all. i got to come back over here and... And it's going to be hard for you on the celebration, too, ain't it? Yeah, it will be. We'll be pretty busy. Well, well I may have to find someone sitting in your seat. Some, <laughs> I'll find a, I'll just get a guest. Yes. <laughs> and that way you can do your job every night. <laughs> but I am looking forward to celebration. I'm looking forward to the shows between now and the celebration. This week is going to be a mini celebration. Oh, yeah. How many of you think you're going to show? I guess all together we'll show about six. Six? Mm-hmm. Well, that's one and a quarter a night. That's right. Or you're, one and a fifth a night. night. That's, you're uh, about right. Well, y'all, yeah, as long as you get it done, I know that you, you bring a lot of them in at work. That's uh, Colton. You're going to let Colton show later on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. He's going to show. You, you're going to just turn him loose and let him show? Turn him loose and let him show. He, he think he's a horse trainer mm -hmm. anyway. Well, yeah, he'll he'll tell you in a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah, yes. he'll tell me exactly what's wrong with a horse, what needs to be done to a horse, and how fast he can get it done. That's right. And uh, mm -hmm. I say, well, go do it, and he'll say, "Got to wait." No, no, I get here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't, can't. He can't do it without you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jerry, you're gonna show tonight, yes. tomorrow night, mm -hmm. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, that's gonna be that's gonna be rough. But I wish you luck. I appreciate it. I'll be there it. cheering for I you. I appreciate it. I got two lead lines going. All right. That'd be good. Yep. Everybody join us next week when we will do a recap of this mini celebration and bring you all the victory passes we can. Have a good day. Enjoy the shows. Yeah, have a good show. <laughs> Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.